Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Right, so we're Court Farms on the horizon to be released for PC players because it has been sent to Giant, so it is in testing as we speak. I thought I'd do a bit of a tour, you know, like a map tour, showcase of the map, or a first look um, of the final version. So Oxy kindly sent me over the final version. So this, this version of the map now we're going to see is not the actual version I'm using for the farm, and this is the version that's been sent. This will be the version that you get when, when it, if it releases, which it should do. Um, if you are interested in the console version, that that is going to be sent separately to Giant, so it's not going to be um, at the same time. Um, hopefully, it won't be too far after. I don't know exactly, but I know there's going to be a few probably changes that need to be made for that, I imagine. Um, but I'm sure Auction David will keep you updated on that, and definitely if you jump into his Discord server, you'll see everything. All the information will be in there anyway for console players. But yeah, PC version has been sent. Um, so yeah, it's on it's on the horizon. It's 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 closer than it's ever been. Uh, so let's have a quick look at the map because there is a few changes in this definitely. So we spawn into the main house on Court Farm. So this is the biggest farm on the map. I see this is George's home. If you watch my content, you'll see this is George's house. A um, few little things that have been added in by Oxy, which I thought was a nice touch. So <laughs> really appreciating putting that picture of George in. Why you'd have a picture of yourself by your bed, though? I think George is a little bit strange, let's be honest. But yeah, this is the main house. The good thing about this house is it's, you know, interactive. We can walk through it. Like, you've got the toilet and everything, as you can see, bath. So perfect for roleplay. Uh, George's train set got a collectible. So there is collectibles on the map, as you'd expect. But yeah, the little... I think this is a brilliant feature. And if you're trying to do a roleplay, I mean, what better map than this is out there? I don't think there is because of the fact it offers so much. And you can see a few rooms, just nice few decoration. A few bits of decoration in each one. So, a dartboard. But yeah, I mean, the map itself, I'm telling you, the map itself is, well, it's the best map for FS right now. There's no two ways about it. In my opinion, it's, uh, it's perfect. I mean, we've been waiting for a decent UK map to hit, you know, since uh, Carmsden, really. I mean, there's been a few, don't get me wrong, Bally Spring is a brilliant map as well, set in Ireland. But as you can tell, the detail to this is just uh, yeah, on another level. Exactly what you want. And it's it's the small details that I've noticed since I've been playing on it, which is the roads, the signs, you know, the little sign that says, you know, community um, community watch and all that stuff. It's, uh, yeah, then things really do just sell, sell it in the immersion and make it realistic for you. So as we walk out the main house, that view just stands out to you. That's just looking over at court. Um, pretty much down there is a few uh, more farms, but we've also got a few. Uh, well, they've actually got the bakery down there, and you can you can get round quite a bit. But the, you know, there's a lot to it, and the detail again, just spot on. Completely looks like a, you know a traditional British village. But court farms itself, you can see when you start off the map. This is on easy mode. You start off with a hundred thousand in the bank account as you do on I think most modes when you're starting off an easy um, and these are the fields so you've got kind of 49 which is like a grass field here and you've got just part of the farm but you don't actually have these two grass fields you have got crop uh, you have got field 40 which is a big grass field I'm actually using it in my, my save game it's probably the one you know where I've taken the cows out and I've put myself a nice little custom pasture in there even though I do know from what Oxy was sharing um, that it is grazing and ready so basically there is animal grazing included um field 46 and field 48 and 48 is a big size field so that's a, a nice crop field but we'll go have a look at them we'll fly over in, in detail um, and if we just actually take this off now you can see that it's a decent size decent size it's a good it's a good farm it's probably the biggest farm on the map um i will put some money in because we do want to have a look at this farm here there's also another farm over here and i think there's actually a little tiny one down here that we can use it's 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 more to something to kind of build up towards and there's also something down here as well um, and then there's a, another farm there um, and that's the main farms so uh, there is there is a few options there definitely is so we'll have a look at all of them definitely but the map itself if you look at it it's a it's it's, it's quite a big map there's a lot going on and, and the fields especially down here they kind of like remind me of what you'd expect if you were in the Netherlands or Holland um, there is a lot of fields like that that kind of run in that kind of shape but i haven't actually got anywhere near to this side of the map really in my farmland series so 
it's going to be interesting just to have a, a good look at everything and uh, yeah, see where you'd probably want to set up. I mean, Court Farms itself is probably going to be the, the main one just because of the fact it's got everything. It's got all animal types, anything you'd need. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a really good, really good map. So as you can tell, we have got a farm dog now. So this is new. This has definitely been added in by Oxy, um, probably prior to it being sent to Giants. So you have got a farm dog there. And I have noticed as well, it kind of roams over here as well. So that's really good. Um, there is now a track down here, which is excellent. I mean, you've see, you've all seen me in the Farman series cutting across that. And George is going to be happy now that we've got a track. So that's a, <laughs> I think that was a cracking idea by Oxy. So nice one for that. Definitely. Um, this map as well, it is ready for the mud mod. So if you've got the mud mod and you want to place it on, you've probably seen in the video that I do on the farmland, I do use the mud mod in that in that series. And it is, I think it's a lot better scattered around than comparison to other maps just because it's, you know, there's little spots here and there. But the good thing about that, if you're not interested in that, you can always turn the mud mod off and it's not it's not like required to play. It's, uh, it is optional. So it's not too bad at all. Uh, but it does add again to kind of the realistic... It depends how how you want to play, really, but it just adds another feature to the map. Um, so I am I'm happy about that. I think it's um, it does it does make maps better, definitely. It does. It's just it can get too much. Depends on how mud, much mud there is. So I do like the fact that Oxy's been quite subtle and where where he's placed. It's not all over the shop, and uh, it's only little little bits here and there when that's happened as well. So yeah, I think it's it's uh, probably the right amount. So let's have a look at the first area then. So like I said, that's the main farm. If you've not seen me play on it, you probably don't know nothing about it. This is the main farmhouse. You've got kind of like a circle motion that's going around the house. So you come, you're coming in from the main road just up, the, up, just up there. We're coming around here and then we can go around again and come back on ourselves um, and then go out. So there is a, a nice little circle going on around the farm yard itself. Um, but then there's obviously a lot going on with barns, storage and everything. But, like I said, there's all types of animals on this farm. So this is the first one. We've got pigs. And uh, it's all basically the base game version of the animals. It wasn't originally intended to that. I don't know if Oxy said anything about this. It wasn't originally intended to do that. I did a video a while back on Carmsen of the animals that they were going to introduce into court farms and future maps that were going to be combined with, at the time, Mace Plus, so the farming agency and, um, and Oxy. I think what Oxy found, um, he can probably tell you this in better himself, but I think what he found was there was too many problems maybe sending it to Giants and getting it, uh, you know, out. And he obviously wanted to make everyone happy and get the map out. So he knows that there's a really good mod out there that enhances the animals as it is. And this way, you kind of get in the, both, the best of both worlds then. So there is a few new animals, don't get me wrong. We've got rabbits and stuff like that, but also the pigs breeds and the cows and all that stuff and the sheep and uh, goats we can use the mod for um that's already out and people a lot of people are using as is but it is only a small small pasture it were this is only a small pig pen though it um it holds 70 and in relation to animals you know for pigs that that's probably around a small to medium size but it's uh you know it's nice at the end of the day there's not one big animal kind of um, barn or stable or anything like that because there's a lot of uh, points on this farm where there's you know multiple animal types so if we move around here there is a few more storage points over there uh, but here is where we can actually get some rabbits so you can see that we can get some baby rabbits we can have up to 30 so we could probably go with like 15 rabbits and we'll have 15 baby rabbits and we'll just have a little look at them and you can see that they're happy as Larry aren't they just bobbing around no I don't think they actually give you anything as a byproduct I think this is purely a pet I mean I'm pretty certain they are just a buy like a pet so there's no byproducts that are going to come from this from having um, a rabbit I'm sure of it but I might be wrong actually but yeah um, pet rabbits basically yeah and they are cute I mean the way that Oxy's done them is spot on Spot on, look at him. The animations are a lot smoother now. I know he was working, he has worked his socks off to make the animations um, spot on. I know in that first video I did, um, he, we, he, we were talking about it and the feedback I got from him was that, uh, you know, he was going to adjust the animations. Um, and I have to say, they're, they're pretty impressive. You know, this for FS Animals Go, they are right up there. There's nothing that says they look out of place, so that's uh, 
a nice little, you know, a little extra detail that you're not normally going to get on other maps. So two little storage points here. There are they are just storage, like small areas. It depends what you want to do. Obviously, you start off with equipment on the farm. If we actually have a quick look, I'll just be able to show you. So we've got a couple of medium tractors, a Massey and a John Deere. We've got a New Holland harvester, the CH7.70. Um, we've got a tally handler as well and uh, a trailer. Kind of what do you expect, really? There's nothing crazy going on. You start off with a power hour, a cedar, fertilizer, mower, everything you'd need to get going, really. And that's on easy mode. Uh, and they're all scattered around. I do like as well, this one's got a bit of mud on. So you can see that it doesn't look like they just come straight off the shop. There is a few that have got a bit of wear on as well. So bunker, that's an actual bunker that we can use as well, which is brilliant because it's covered. And I really like the idea of having covered bunkers, but we don't really get too many of them of them on maps it's usually the open style bunker but i mean in the uk it rains a lot and the runoff you can get a lot of rot and you know wastage on on the actual bunker that you've put you know the, the crop that you've put in the bunker to ferment so having a having a you know a, a like a, a bunker with a roof on is pretty much something that a lot of farmers would love to have so i, I like the idea of that so this has changed a little bit from the version i'm playing you can see there's another collectible down there i want to give all them away so but down here, I think it's a perfect spot if you're going to store like uh, big bags or anything like that. Nice little pond there. So just adds got the sound effects as well that you can hear. And it looks like there's just a kind of track here that leads to that pond. And then I think that just is a dead end. So again, you could use it as storage, anything you wanted. But I just like I, I like the way it looks, to be honest. It's uh, perfect as it is. And that door leads into this storage shed. Now, this is a big storage shed. As you can tell, we've got a lot of the equipment you're going to start off in here. It's stored in here as well. And it kind of works out to where the cow barn is. But we'll work our way around the building to the side to have a look at that. And then we'll just we'll, we'll feed off back to this point so you can get a bit of a reference of where we are. Um, I, try, I don't want to try and make this video too long, but obviously it is a map tour. And I am going to have a look at the main farms and scoot around. But I just want to show Court Farm off in a bit more detail because it is... Well, I think it's an amazing farm, personally. Um, so you've got a spawn point here, and that, if I believe, if I'm correct here, is for the animals. So we can have chickens, and they're going to just roam around. We can have up to 50. So I'm just going to put a few in. You can feed them at this point. That's for your fuel, so you can buy fuel and put that in there. Um, and then, obviously, if you get any eggs, they're going to spawn at this point. There's a few open, there's a few sheds here that can open up, and it's just for storage, really. Um, there isn't really much you're going to be able to fit in there unless it's hand, anything that you can pick up by hand. Same one over there. We'll, we'll work our way to that point in a second, but let's just carry on over here. And this is the back side of the house, so we've done like a full circle now. And you can see the dogs just having a whale of a time with the deers. And so what we've got here is the the stable or the open area for the horses now we can have up to 10 horses in here so these numbers have increased i'm sure of it so that's that's good to see so let's get a few horses going in here i think that should do just four you can see they're quite happy in there feed in troughs over there you've obviously got your water over there and it's not an automatic um feeding trough some of them are on the on the on the the, the farm, some are automatic water. You can see that the, the pigs aren't, and chickens don't need it, obviously. Rabbits we need to give water for, to, and the same with the uh, the horses as well. So water is a thing. We don't have to get busy with that. So then you've got like a stable area. Now, I think this is a perfect place to store bales, personally. Like if you're doing a let's play or you're playing on it, on, on it your own, you obviously can't get your horse in here because that's where, you know, the animal... Uh, pasture is for the horse um, or the stable whatever you want to call it paddock probably paddock's the right word for that um, but yeah it's a good place for bales so if we have a look around here the sheep are kind of like hidden they're hidden off, off the way but this is where you're going to keep your sheep now it's, it's a small area for the sheep so I expect we can't have too many but 100 100 is actually really good I think the version I'm playing on it's, it's quite low in numbers so it's definitely been upped which I know a lot of people will be happy about because a lot of the time, if you haven't put enough, you know, I've seen comments on previous, can you increase the, you know, the count of animals we can have in each, you know, farm. So I think that's a good idea of Oxy, definitely. So you can see that we've got 
a nice area for sheep here. Again, they need water, and we're going to have to give them feed at this point. Um, and then up here, I think this is where the wolf spawns as well. So, so up here, I've actually fenced this off on the series. Uh, another collectible. I'll take that. You're going to get round to the big field 57, which is what we're coming up to. And on the left-hand side there is the campsite. Now, if I believe we can actually purchase the campsite and we'd get income. So we'd get monthly income from it. So let's just quickly buy this. It's 40,000. So yeah, eventually you'll see probably an income because it isn't a production. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. I'll, I might speed up time at some point just to check that out. But I'm pretty certain we can because you can see here as well, it says campsite. So we do get income from that by having a campsite. It isn't anything you need to maintain, I'm sure of. It's just income that will be generated. Um, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, this is field 57. So this is a starting field and it is quite a big field. Definitely a big field to get started on. Right, so let's just quickly now, we'll start flying about and make this a little bit quicker. Uh, we'll put times five on, and then we'll put flight mode on. And we'll need to put some money in as well, because we're obviously going to need to buy a few farms. So, there we go. So, as you can see now, the sheep are there. We've had a look at this, the, the shed over there for the horses and the stable and the paddock and everything. That one over there, there is no entrance to, so it is just for show. And then over here, we've got another place. This is a really nice workshop. And as you can tell, another place for storage. So I put a lot of tractors in here, um, equipment. But again, you can use it. You've got your shop in here. So if you need to do anything like on your workshop and uh, repairs or anything, that's that's where we do that. So it is nice that this farm has two bunkers. So we can store like maize silage if you're playing with maize plus and maybe grass silage and the other one or even whole crop. Uh, but yeah, I do like the fact it had two Definitely, this stands out as something that's uh, probably needed when you're using Maze Plus, having that second bunker. So this is the slurry pit. Now, this just links, from what I understand, to the cows. So the pigs don't give off any slurry. We can just confirm that by going over here. You can see that we don't get any slurry from, from the pigs. Um, it is just linked to the cows. And you've got a water point there, so you can get water. We will go down that track in a second, but we're going to just actually have a look at the cows. So this is where the cows spawn this is the feeding trough we don't need to give them water and manure actually spawns so if you give them straw manure will spawn here but there is a place you can manually go and take it to so it's like mucking out which i actually prefer definitely do prefer so the trigger for the cows is about i think the sign is here but i noticed it was by the gate so uh where are you where are you There you go, it's, it's about here. So it isn't, even though the sign's just a little bit up there, um, the point is just over here. So we're going to put, um, let's put, we can have up to 50 cows. Now, that might not be much, but it is only a small area for the cows. So I, I prefer it to be realistic like that. You know, we're going to be probably overcrowding if we put too many in. So there's that. Uh, we could mix it up and put some more in, but I'll just keep it with the Holstein. And then you can see that they're floating about. So you've got your milk point there as well. So that's where you're going to pick up your milk. Um, water's there, but it's automatic, that one is. So it's one that we don't need to worry about. Now, this can you can open these gates, and it can be like a, a run across. So if you do get to make your own custom pasture like I did for outside, where we can have grazing, and you take the cows out, you know, you can use this to get in and out. It's kind of like a, a nice little point to run through. Um, and then this is the shed that we've already looked at. So you can see that it kind of works itself through. Uh, light switches are around, and I do like the lights. I think it's just a nice tone. It's not too bright. It's kind of like a more of a, a warmer colour. So it, it does look really nice at night. It makes some great screenshots. So let's have a, a quick look down here, and then we'll go over to probably just down the track because we can get access again to field 57 that we own um, from there field 56 is here so this is the one we'll start off with and straight away you're going to be harvesting so this is the small bunker that I was on about where you can take the muck in this is what I've been doing I imagine this is what it's for so it isn't actually a bunker you know you can't ferment anything in here um, but you can just move the the muck out so 
it's nice to have that place and I got I prefer the fact that I'm mucking out myself to be honest so let's have a, a bit of a fly up and we can go over here you can see that that's the field 57 that we can obviously start growing in it's our biggest crop field I'd say then we've got another crop field here that's field 56 that sound effect then for the wind was spot on it really was and then we've got you know a few more fields that are branching out but you don't start with these it's going to be hard to show you every field really i mean the video would be just too long at that point but you can tell yourself that even the smallest fields you know they'll have detail with them they're not all the same each one is unique the layout i mean even this one here you've got like this bridge going across with a bit of a you know pass through for the water and yeah even that bit in the middle it's Again, it's just um, a lot of time and effort has gone into this map. A lot of time and effort, definitely. And it does show just by how unique it is. So, um, hats off to Oxy, definitely. He's doing an outstanding job. Outstanding. So, let's carry on from here. So, originally when I first looked at this map, this was where the goats were going to be. But because goats are, you can have from the mod that I was mentioning to you, it's taken out so now we've got just an extra storage place which is good because you obviously you can never have enough storage so you've got a place for bales or anything like that or farm equipment and you've also got a nice silo now i really like this silo because of the size of it it's not too bulky it's not too big and we can still store grain and we can still obviously pick up grain so it is nice to have a silo still on the farm but it's not something that just looks out of place you know when you see these massive grain silos i mean from where i am in the uk you don't really see a, a grain silo anywhere so this kind of just it just fits in it's, it's quite subtle and i like that another place here for storage again this is where the the talion has been parked up and then at the back here that there's doesn't give anything off that's just for show that's not for the milk the one the one for milk i'm certain of is the one inside the cow pasture and then over here you've got quite a, a muddy section especially if you're using the mud mod that leads out to what i call the bale pad because i think this is just a good spot for bales and then you've got your big grass field so this is the biggest grass field you'll have when you start off and it is massive it is a good size grass field to get working in um, don't know which which uh, fields are actually the ones that have, have the grazing enabled on so i'm not entirely sure on that it'll be interesting to find that out from testing uh but yeah definitely grazing is included i'm sure of it i'm sure i read that that was part of the the features so if we jump up now we'll have a good look but yeah that's pretty much court farm so you can see it's got all animals it's got horses we've got pigs we've got the sheep hiding around the back there it's pretty much all animal types that you can have you've even got a dog on the farm so uh, and, and if you do buy the uh, the campsite you're obviously going to make some money from that as well so let's have a quick look at the other farms then and then we'll have a bit of a it's just a, a fly about just to have you know a look at the cell points and uh, you know some of the actual detail of the map because i think it'd be criminal of me not to do not to show that off because it's, it's sometimes about to stop in game just to take it in because we do bypass that kind of stuff when we're playing we, we drive past things that might have taken hours and hours to make in blender or whatever just even if it's just a sign but we should probably stop a little bit more as players and take in the amount of effort and time it go that goes into these kind of maps because they look realistic and they look just like you know where they're set and and for that reason itself i mean court farms is an actual real place so you know it's not just some make-believe place this is an actual place an actual farm and i think it actually does have like visitors that you can go to so um yeah I'm sure we'll see some real life pictures of Court Farm at some point when it comes out just to compare. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's it's really impressive. Right, so we're at Sophie's Sweet Treats Bakery. Now, that's a sell point, so we can take things like sugar. Uh, I think you can take flour to there because you've got to remember you're not going to be taking cakes there because, uh, you know, this is where we're actually going to be uh, buying cakes. So any ingredients to make things like that. Now, the George loves this place. He comes down all the time for his donuts. Um, and there is the really good thing about it I just love the fact that we can enter you know again for role play it's perfect you've got a character in there kind of I think it's randomized each time I think it does uh, change um, but across the road from that is the second farm we're going to look at so this is called Stonebridge Farm and it's Caravan Park but uh, you've got the Caravan Park to the right hand side of the farm and obviously the farm on the left hand side now the the layout of this farm is definitely something that's unique I've never seen a farm laid out like this before I don't even know where the entrance is it's it's 
I really like it, I have to say. It's, it'd be really good for a small-style equipment. If you're into, you know, the small masses or anything like that, this is perfect. You can see that we've got a storage point here, some more storage points there. We're going to work our way around. I haven't even had a real good look at this myself, but there you go. We've got another shed in there. Looks like we can both open doors on both sides. This must be where the workshop is, so that's really nifty. You've got an entrance there going out to the field and also going out to the main road. A bit of a shed here as well, so I guess this is more storage. Plenty of storage on this one, definitely. Another shed as well. And that's the this that that will be the workshop that we've looked at already. Now over here you can see that this looks like it's going to be for milk. Now I do think I have to buy this separately, so let's just quickly do that because you can see I think this farm also has again more animals. So if we purchase these here we'll be able to see exactly what animals they've got. And this one, again, is a caravan park, so we can buy that as well. So, what have we got going on in this field? I'm sure this is going to be cows. It is, so let's have some... Let's go with some beef stock. We can have up to 200 in there. You can see the milk would come here if you've got... So, again, a, a big area, a big area definitely for the cows. Um, it looks like we can have chickens here. So I have 25 roosters, that's just crazy. <laughs> and then this one, again, another big shed. And then you've got your silo again over here. Quite a nice, small, subtle size silo. I, I, I do prefer that, I have to say. And again, that's just the other side of that shed. So we've kind of worked away from the front there. And we're going to go around this way. You've got more storage again. You've got some good places to probably put bales. Another storage shed. Another storage shed. There's plenty of storage on this farm. Definitely. And another one there as well. I'm trying to think if there's a bunker there. It looks like that'll be the bunker. So over here, it looks like we're going to have rabbits again. So this is the second farm that has rabbits. So let's get 15 in here. We can probably just make them out. Roaming about. There you go. So... Let's have a walk and a bit of a wander through this bit. So another storage point there, and uh, I imagine this is your bunker. So there you got you there you got your bunker, and finally we're going to be looking at pigs probably. Let's have a look at this. Uh, ah, this is sheep. So we can have two hundred sheep in that one. So. This looks like it's an actual field to work in there. So this must be for grass. Which is pretty cool. And there you go. So across the road from the farm, you've actually got the uh, the campsite as well. And then another storage shed there for bales or anything like that. And then on the right, as you can see, big that's a big area for pigs. I wonder how many we can have. I didn't actually look. We can have 100. That is a lot, and then again, you've got some horses, and you can have 10 again. So, again, a big farm, really big farm. You can see all the animals kind of stretch out to the back side of the farm, but a lot of storage point, definitely a lot of storage area. Uh, we've got a bunker as well. I don't think you'd ever complain that we haven't got enough, but I like how tight the yard is, especially here. You know, you come past the house, you turn it right back on yourself again. It's all tight, but also for the area, there's a lot of storage, definitely. Um, and there's your campsite, and then multiple fields again, multiple fields that we'll have a we'll have a, a good look at. We'll fly over some of the fields just to give you an idea. That that grass field there is quite quite a big field. I wonder what the biggest field is. Let's have a look at this. It's always a question I always like to know. Which one is the biggest field? I mean, 46 and 88 at the top is looking like it's pretty big. And you've got. 100 there, I know, I know they changed, but it is actually 165, that grass field might be the biggest field, you know, I think it could be unless I'm missing something I think that is your actual biggest field there 165, definitely so, that's that farm done, what we're going to do now is I'm just going to fly through and just show you some detail if I can along the way, I know it's going to be difficult because I don't want this video to be massive but you can see the houses, look at that. I mean, that looks like a proper council house in the in England or in the UK. 
and the detail again is just it's just really really detailed it is i mean you can even see there's a few fields here that you could do you know for me as someone that loves doing a bit of a role play story it's perfect it's perfect it really is because there's just so many possibilities like even this look, look down here there's a house and everything got nothing to do with you know the farms itself it's just on its own a house that you can probably open the gate for drive down you know it's insane it really is insane and uh yeah so you can see the boundary of the map is just down there this bit here as, as well i've always found this it, it's things like that signs you know the hydrant signs in the uk uh, they stand out. You've got Watercross Lane, Private Road, and the houses down here are, well, they're just exact, exact to what you'd expect. I mean, you've even got a bit more storage over there. So if you want to buy this field, you could come out into it. You know, this would be a nice place to start your own little farm. But yeah, look at that. Honestly, that is perfection. And I think a lot of people, if you're playing this, you know, playing Farming Simulator, you want a good British map. I mean, you've got the best one right here. And it's not far away now. It really isn't. But, uh, yeah, I mean, even the ADT Alarm. I mean, that is a company within the UK that do alarm systems. So, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, astonishing, really, how much detail's gone into this. It really is. So, I think down here as well, there's an actual area. But it's not a farm, but you could purchase it. You could make something of it. But the amount of areas that are like this, I don't know what you'd call them, but they're like potential spots for farms where you could build on. Like you could purchase this, buy them fields, and build a little farm off this, you know, and place down your own placeables because of the fact that there's so many spots like that on the map that are scattered around that, you know, are the start of a good farm um, and have so much detail around them that wouldn't look out of place. Like this, for example. Like you could have a really small farm here. And I mean small because you've got to think about turning in here uh, but you could place a lot of stuff here. A lot of stuff down. It'd be quite congested. I, I'd, I'd prefer that. I think that would be, you know, my style of farm. A really small farm. Um, yeah, I, I think that's uh, like a really high... You know, the potential of that spot alone was, you know, in itself really decent. And uh, even that, the open reach sign for the, you know, the, board, the, the boxes on the side, the broadband boxes... And then you've got Coots Lane down there with another farm, which is something we're going to have a quick look at. But I just want to show you the houses and get to the edge of the map. I wish I could stop and just do a really long video just talking about all the things that I found impressive. But yeah, it's going to be difficult to do. So border of the map's just there, so we can't go past this point, as you can see. So let's have a quick look then at this because this is an actual thing we can buy which is what I've done so I've purchased this spot over here and then what we can do is you can actually remove the, the rubbish so what you can do is you come into here you can remove junk from the yard sell and then what you'll find is it's now somewhere that you can go and work on or build up on and uh, yeah you've got a nice little small hole with a few storage, a few storage areas and a nice little, you know, tight farmyard, really. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. Definitely enough storage. And then you've got a field at the back as well. So, and, and obviously options to go out to other fields. So really, really cool, really cool. So let's go over to that cook lane we'll have a look at the second the third main farm there is four so we've this will be the third out of the four so as we come off this main road down cook's lane if you've watched me watch my series the farm and you'll know that this is what i'm calling keith's farm but it's actually called elm craft farm so again i really like this one like when i was doing the cinematic um video for for the core farms for oxy this one just looked perfect because it could have such small equipment in the old school, like British style, you know, muck spreader and slurry tanker. And it would just look at home on this farm. It's uh, like I said, small. There's not many fields that are included in it. So if I actually just show you, we're at 34. We've got two grass fields, really. 
two grass fields and then you could purchase this grass field and that little crop field there but they don't come with it they're extras that you'd have to buy uh, but yeah that's your main farmhouse you've got your fuel point you've got your cows that go into that there alone that is small but you know pretty cool as well you can have up to 50 in there storage plenty of storage as well you've got your slurry pit there you've got um, storage for bales you've got bunker so for your chaff or whatever you're deciding to ferment um, entrance gate out to the, the grass field as well and then in here is the workshop nice little workshop and the building itself look at that the stonework on it spot on textures are brilliant again another like really subtle you know not too big kind of uh, silo as well and then again somewhere to put the muck in here so you can do that manually yourself and then i think you've got one more space so you've only got on here you've got uh, the the cows but you've also got some sheep over here so let's see how many we can get so we can have a hundred, which is quite a lot of sheep. But we'll just put 15 in. So there you go. So there's your sheep. Looking on the back of that house. I mean, look at that. Detail again. Just amazes me. Every time. I mean, I've seen this map now a few times, and every time it amazes me. It really does. So that's, uh, yeah, Almcroft. Almcroft Farm. And you can see, if we zoom up, that's the kind of layout of the farm. And then you've got obviously your two big grass fields and then if you did want to buy another one you've got this one um, and then like I said you've got that kind of like one that you can remove the junk out of and turn into something you want yourself so we'll, we'll look at all the cell points at some point soon we're not going to do that just yet in the swimming pool and that one look how lucky they are a swimming pool let me know fire he's doing well for himself Right, so we'd now come up the main road, coming past Court Farm, which was on just over there. We've gone past the grain mill, which in itself is a brilliant cell point, sound effects and everything. Um, there's another cell point to the left here, but if you follow the road around, what you'll notice is eventually after you go past Valley, Valley Stores, there's an ice house on the right. You've got a farm called... It's a big farm, this one. It's called Home Farm. Now, this farm, actually, Lancy Boy did a lot of the textures for these these buildings. So I think he actually did the buildings on some of these. I'm not sure exactly which ones it is, but I know he helped out quite a bit. And I think he made the actual, you know, um, placeable sheds and stuff that have been put into this farm. And I think even that cow pasture there. Um, so, yeah, you can see that it's really, I think it's great when you get two, obviously, top-end modders working together because then you get even different style buildings on, on. They're not all the same. You can see that we've looked at the four farms now, and each one looks different, unique. It's not the same kind of buildings all the time. There is a few that are the same, but it's not every every building. So the farmhouse is there. You, you come in, you've got a lot of storage area for bales, equipment, anything you want. Um, and then you've got this big shed, which is probably more like to put silage in or anything. And you've got your nice, uh, and then you've got a big bunker there as well silo as well some, some water and then if we start moving around here then we'll start looking at the animals so you've got a cow enclosure that also has an open pasture bit which is great to see um slurry just there and yeah let's put some let's put some cows in so we'll go we can have a hundred in this we'll just put a few in and you can see that the there's some inside the nav mesh obviously brings them from the inside to out which i do like and then you've got big big grass field and some more storage on the back so it's a big farm it is a big farm but you've only got cows on so you know it'd be a good farm for probably milking or for beef stock definitely and if we jump up you can see the layout of the land so it's quite you know it's got more space i think on that farm you've got a lot more space around the sheds and everything so you could have bigger equipment on this farm definitely um, and if we have a look at what you start with you pretty much just start with it looks like just yeah it looks like just the grass field so we don't get 108 we don't get that so you don't get that crop field there you don't get that crop field it looks like we just get the grass field we don't even get that one and i think if i did buy that there'd be some more animals let's just try this out so we can see there we are probably going to get sheep aren't we yeah so let's put some more 
sheep in. That's 200. So you could buy that and then have some sheep. And you'd have cows and sheep then. So it's not just cows on that one. But again, you'd have to buy your arable fields and work out. But look how many arable fields are around. You know, you have got a good amount to choose from. And you probably connect as well through them. Because I know that this track runs right around here. So this field would be ideal to own. And then, as you can see, you're coming out on the main road. So it kind of makes sense to probably own these fields around here. I mean, just look at that. That is perfection for an English, British, traditional British style farm, country lanes with the, the you know, the crops and the fields and even the distance view. I mean, look at that view on the outside. It looks like you're actually looking at the outside world from the map and it's realistic to the area. Um, it's, it's stunning. It really is stunning. Such a good map. I mean... It's the, you know you don't get maps like this often. They take so long to make, so make the most of quarter farms while it's out. That's what I say because who knows how long it's going to be until Oxy makes another map after this. So yeah, definitely you know don't take it for granted. Get as many hours out of it as you can because that's what I'm going to be doing definitely. So that's all the main farms. We've had a look at four farms now. Uh, there you're pretty much the options. There is so many little details to this map that I'm not going to be able to go over. You know, there's little farms, little things plastered about. You can see that there's probably, you know, even there, right by across the road from Court Farm, you can see that there's like a little... You could own that, purchase it, do something at the back. You know, you've got a field there. Um, there is a few like that, Definitely. It's like this over here. This looks like something you could purchase. You've got storage as well. This could be like a little small then again. So you could purchase this. Have a little storage area. You've got a, you've got a little uh, shed as well. And then, yeah, plenty of fields. So we've had a look at all the farms. And before we go and have a quick look at the sell points and anything that just stands out to us on that side, we're just going to talk about the crops because the crops, well, we've got four new types of crop. And I'm really excited about these because I haven't actually had my hands on this version with these crops in. So even I haven't seen these yet. And I am, yeah, like I said, really looking forward to seeing what they're about. So we're going to just set this field to have all these four crop types at uh, the required growth stage. Uh, but let's have a quick look at them first, just so we can see what we're on about. So if we go right to the bottom, you can see we've got linseed. So linseed is pretty much was introduced in Carmesin, but it is now on Court Farms. We've also got rye. So pretty much rye is like wheat anyway, but it's just a different crop. We've got field bean. Now, field beans, I'm sure they're broad beans to what I know of. Um, I think as well, you can actually use them as a feed additive for animals. So if you're using maize plus, that's interesting because we could probably put them in. And then we've got alfalfa and alfalfa hay. So let's have a quick look at this now because what I want to do is in front of me, we've got field 56 and we're going to do some of the kind of magic stuff that, you know, helps us out when we're doing videos like this. And we're going to set the field fruit in 56. And we're going to go to, let's start off with rye and we'll put it in probably like halfway just to see what it looks looks like as it's growing so there we go that's the rye and we'll go back but this time we'll go to let's go growth stage five just to see what it's like just before so that's your rye just before quite a dense crop as well it does look a bit like wheat but it's starting to change a bit now and then we'll go ready to harvest and there you go so that's your rye so i like this because it I'm sure rye gives off straw, so I, I, I'm pretty much certain, confident I'm going to say that rye will give you straw, and it's just another type of crop, so you can make rye flour and stuff like that. So that's nice to see. So that's a, a different type of crop for us to grow there. So let's move over to field bean, or broad bean as I know it, um, and have a look what this looks like. So let's go again, growth stage three. So you can see that looks definitely different. It kind of does look like soybeans, though straight away that's what it's reminding me of let's go to ready to harvest wow that does look different that is definitely different it's quite dark it almost looks like it's been sprayed with herbicide it's uh interesting yeah definitely let's actually tip some to the ground then just to see what it looks like so we can have a look at this um, in fact what i'll do is i'll show all the crop types in the fields and then we'll tip to ground because i definitely want to see this alfalfa definitely so we've got alfalfa, and I don't think alfalfa, I think alfalfa hay is just a fill type. We can make it into hay. So let's have a look at it growing, because obviously, 
Yeah, that's alfalfa, definitely. Definitely. That is going to be wicked. It really is to, nice to have half alfalfa back in the game. And then you've got your alfalfa fully grown, ready to start mowing as grass-like. So I'm glad we can turn it into hay, though, and I'm glad it's inbuilt on the map, definitely. So let's tip to ground. Um, I always forget which one this is. There you go. Tip to ground. We're going to tip to ground. We'll, we'll tip some alfalfa hay. We'll do five metres, and we'll just go... 5,000. There you go. Look at that. Got a bit of alfalfa hay there. Can I make it into a bale? Can I make it into a bale? Is it only loose product? That's a good question. So we want alfalfa hay. There you go. So we can have a round bale of alfalfa. Um, we want to probably go to 150 at least. So let's get a round bale of alfalfa. Let's get a round bale of alfalfa hay. And we'll also see if we can wrap. Um, I don't know if I can actually wrap it. Maybe, maybe if it's. I don't know if we can make alfalfa silage. I don't think we can. So we can just make fresh alfalfa, and then alfalfa hay. So that's the fresh straight away. I can tell you that. And then that's your alfalfa hay. So it looks identical to hay. There's no purple texture on that one but this one you can definitely see that purple in it as fresh alfalfa so that is good to see and then you've obviously got your <laughs> your big mound of fresh alfalfa there um <laughs> is it alfalfa hay i put down i did so let's have a look at this one then as alfalfa and so it looks pretty oh there you go there you guys <laughs> It's just too much everywhere. There you go. So we've got alfalfa here that you can see is fresh, and then obviously as it's turning to hay, it looks a bit different. So that's good because we can make hay from it as well. So that's that. That is pretty decent. I am happy about that, definitely. Let's see if we can just get a bit more space, and we'll tip some some rye down and some field field beans. And I think then that should be good enough. So tip to ground, we want to go to field beans. We'll t same amount. Field beans. There you go. There's your field beans. It does look like soybeans. It really does. It looks quite a lot like it. Uh, and then over here we want rye, which I imagine is going to look really close to wheat. In all fairness to it, it just gives you the variety. That's the thing. We, I think I don't think I pressed enter. I have to remember to press enter on them. Um, nope. Let's try that again. We'll get there. We'll get there. Maybe I was in that trigger. There you go. So there's the rye. So you can see that it does look a lot like a normal grain type. I mean, if we just try and stick probably about here, if we just try and stick a bit of, I'm going to say, probably, I'm just trying to think what it would look most like. It could just be oats would look like it, wouldn't it? But let's go wheat. Let's go wheat just to see. So yeah, it, it's pretty much very close to darker looking. So it's the same kind of texture, but darker. So you can see it's very, very alike. Uh, but they're, they're new crop types. So we've got field bean, broad bean, if you know it like me. We've got rye, which is like an, an equivalent to kind of like oats or wheat. And then we've also got, you know, to finish off, we've got uh, some alfalfa, which is great to see because we can use that obviously to feed the cows and if you're using maize plus or anything like that make sure you add it in on your feed mixes and stuff like that right so let's have a quick look now at the south points and uh, yeah we'll have a bit of a scoot around the map so we'll start from the top and we'll work our way down we'll have a look at the store as well so you've got over here which is right at the top of the map you've got your biogas plant so what you'd expect basically a biogas plant you've got the biogas plant point there you've got two cell points so you've got one called pine creek stores and pine creek bales so you can take bales here you've got your biogas plant and then you've got your debris crusher for your stones up there so quite a big area for a biogas plant and then just behind it is the woodlands so you can get into that if you are interested in chopping some of the trees down i imagine that's your forestry area to do it um and then over here look at this nice little area Just hidden away big fields as well that's a big field that is a big field so 46 is the one that i said looked pretty big but i didn't think it was as big as field six it says over here but obviously it's 165 there so yeah it's close though do you know what it's very close it 
could actually be about the same size. Yeah, that is close. So that's a mammoth field, isn't it, really? It really is. And if you chop them trees down and maybe, you know, try to plough it in, I guess, somehow, it'd be even bigger. So let's have a quick look at the shop. So the shop, it's a John Deere style shop. So it's right at the top left of the map. You're going to come up the main road out of court. Um, obviously, this main road all leads you all the way down to the other farms. We go past three, well, we go past, technically, all four farms are really accessible from this main road. So you've got your one there, court farm there, Stonebridge there, and then the final fourth one down at the bottom. So you can work all your way up to this. And then you've got your store here. So if you have a look, at the city, it says vehicle shop and then a workshop for the vehicle shop. I mean, a lot of detail to it, a lot of space as well, so you'll, it'll spawn quite a few items. And again, it's a walk-in shop with, you know, items for you to visually see, so obviously it makes it more immersive. And then, again, just as you'd expect, there's not much, just a lot of it's just decorations and, and things to make the map feel a bit more immersive. And then you've got your wor workshop as well. So let's have a look now over here. So let's go to see the animal dealership now. It is quite a big area, this is. But you've got a few sell points as well. So it's not just the animal dealership. So the animal dealership is there, and I remember there is some sound effects. So as you can hear it. So you can get your animals there. You can sell them there. Uh, you've got a... I'm going to say that's probably like a lime refill point that you can buy lime from, I'm going to guess. Uh, but let's just, yeah, lime station. And then you've got farmer's market and farmer's market for bales. So you can sell your bales there and then you can sell anything that the farmer market takes just there. So we are going to fly around this. It is going to be brief. Look at this here. Look at the detail there. It's insane. The way that looks, the stonework on that. The views and even the the way that that track looks. I mean, it's immense. It really is. It's, it's, it's just so impressive. The textures and everything, the way it's laid out. You've got a nice little riding area. Um, so if you do get some horses and you want to ride them and take them somewhere where you can go on the like jump the horses over the show jumps and stuff, this is a perfect spot for you right by the animal dealership. It's mental. It's mental. Still, honestly, blows my mind. So let's have a flyover, because I think if we have a quick look, you can see there's a castle. And then there's all these fields that I said to you that were shaped quite uniquely, and there, there's more down there as well. So, yeah, you got yourself a nice castle. Because you've got to have a castle. Why not? Sound a bit windy then, again. But yeah, look. <laughs> Why not have a castle? Every map's got to have a castle. So I think over here we've got a few more cell points. We've got two up there, which is the garden centre. So let's go have a quick look at the garden centre. Straightforward enough. Cell point right in the corner of the map, so you can obviously take a few items to the garden centre. And then over here, we should have another store with bales, and then another store with bales. So we've got plenty of options, but we'll just have a quick flyover, just to have a look. That's the first set of stores, and then over here you've got the second one, but as you can tell, you've also got a sawmill. So you can do some logging, and yeah, I've got somewhere to take that as well. So let's keep moving probably downwards, because I know there is a few really nice features down to the bottom of the map, and then if there's another set of cell points to the left-hand side, uh, in the middle and left hand side and there's a few just at the bottom that we'll have a quick look at and then I think we should be done there was one little spot that I wanted to look to in the bottom left hand corner but let's fly down here because I mean look at these fields look at these fields they are yeah like it just reminds me of, of the Netherlands it really does a lot of stones in that spot A lot of just random points on the map that just make it stand out for me. It's uh, 
It's, it's cracking, isn't it? It's cracking up. It really is. Looking forward to getting into it. Proper playing a Let's Play on it as well. So let's continue just working our way down to this. No, there's another little village down here as well that's uh, impressive. So, again, another main road on the other side. There's no cell points on this side of the road. There isn't. It's just really, it's right on the edge of the map. But we're obviously quite far down now. And I just love this kind of... It's like a cul-de-sac, really. It's like just another perfectly designed and it looks spot on British town, British village, whatever you want to call it, with the style houses that yeah just fit the area really well. With sound effects. And it's right on the edge of the map as well. So a lot of people might not even come to this section. Because there's no cell point for you here. But to miss out on this would be, yeah, to me, just a shame. Because look at the detail of it. You know, the parking. It's just perfect. It really is. It's perfect. Signs as well. Or post, post box. Put your letter in. <laughs> and then that's, that's what I was all about. This is a, a neighbourhood watch area. I mean, the detail of that. Just little signs like that take time to make and put in and place in the right spots you know it's a uh, dedication dedication to a to a task at hand that's obviously you know you i don't think you can you can fault anything really it's it's spot on spot on so let's uh have a quick look then just the remaining cell points just so we haven't missed anything so over here we've got town stores and then again for the bales so if we have a bit of a jump up I'll uh, show you from what it looks like from this side mainly because you'll be coming off the main road so you'll come up that way again just another sell point right on the edge edge of the map so we can sell bale, bales there and uh, probably grain or anything like that but the entrance to it's a bit tight you can I think you can go around that way that's it yeah so that's a bigger entrance so if you are hauling uh, and the stores also, they do close, so the gate, I think there's like an entrance that will shut between the hours, it's not open, so it's not like you can sell it at 3 in the morning. So we'll go up here first, sell point, we've got two two more there, one over there, and then finally we're going to have a quick look down here. So, this is the grain mill, and as you can imagine, you can take things here to sell, so you can take like grain, sell it at the grain mill, you can even walk inside have a quick look and then I think all you have to do is to buy the production point so you don't buy the land you buy the produ production point and then obviously at that point when you take your grain here or whatever it is you're doing you've obviously got the options to make flour so a lot of stuff you're going on so uh, just like any other traditional production grain mill but obviously you've got this <laughs> this which is pretty cool it really is. I do like that. I do. Right, so we're going to look at Valley View stores. This one's got a bale sell point and a store sell point. Again, it depends on the price, I guess, to which one you're going to, but there is a lot that have got the, the bale sell point as well with it. This is the one right by Home Farm, so the one just over there that's got the sheep and the cows. Um, you can see, straightforward, nice big area, so you you know, if you have got some big kit, you shouldn't struggle getting in and out. Um, so let's have a quick look at this one. This one is quite hidden away. There was a section that I came to before where it said road closed. You'd obviously come up here, you turn right and you can see this says tall tree stores. So let's have a quick look down here. You can see that we've got again a cell point there and another cell point there. So what do we think this is? So we've got store bay one, we've got bales, and then we've got just the stores. So bale bay one looks like it's taking veg. Looks like it's taking kind of production features that we're selling there. You got your bales there. And then finally, you've got anywhere you're selling grain. So, pretty decent, pretty decent. I think that is all the sell points and 
yeah, places of interest in that regards. Again, there's so many little nooks and crannies to this map where you might think, do you know what? I actually like the idea of building my own farm from scratch, but having just a nice little area in the, you know, in a nice little spot with some good details around. There's so many places like that that Oxy's put on the map. Just just a barn. It could just be a barn somewhere that you could use as storage. And if you buy the land, you get this small plot of land that's you know, ready for kind of your sandbox mode, you could say, to put in anything you want. And that's the bit that I like the most because you can put a screenshot up of what you've done. You've built this little farm by that. And someone will put, what map's that? And you'll say, it's Court Farm. But I've made it my own in my own little spot. And I just think with having them options to put, you know, a shed here and there, you know, you can do that kind of stuff. Like this one here. You could buy this here have that shed purchase the land and place some stuff down and then obviously you've got your own little farm same goes with this one you could buy this turn all that into a farm uh, and i think it's a uh, you know it's great because of that so down here i did actually see we could buy some land again and it's not like a farm on the map i mean even that there I mean, I'm just getting constant ideas for the farm, and I'll be honest, by flying around. But no, look at this one. So you've got here another area. Spot on, you can purchase the, the land like I did. So this has been purchased down here, and you can purchase anything around, and you've got some sheds and storage. And even though this is not technically a farm, you have got a bunker. Um, there is, you know, he advertises it as four main farms, but we've seen the four main farms, but that's got a bunker on. So you could still make this your own little farm. And, uh, you know, a few fields around and everything. So, yeah, have a look around the map, see if you can find spots like that. And uh, fingers crossed it won't be too long now, and everyone will be playing on court farms on the PC. And then not too long after that, hopefully, we'll have some news about the console version being sent to Giants as well. But, yeah, absolutely outstanding map. Congratulations to Auction David on what he's done. He's made uh, probably the best map for FS22, in my opinion, as of yet. And yeah, enjoy everybody when it comes out. And uh, don't forget, get your donuts from here, because if not, George will eat them all. So on that note, I'm going to leave the video there. So thanks for watching. Really do appreciate it. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give the video a thumbs up, because that does help my channel out. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this one on Farming Simulator.